everyone, this is Kuhu from the K Junction, a junction where I blog and vlog about early learning, parenting, Montessori, healing, music and creativity. So uh, after a long time, I'm here with my shelf activities that I had set up for my son who is 26 months right now. This was a shelf that I had set up uh, during Easter time and I haven't uh, got a chance to change the activities yet quickly uh, take you through the shelf items these are popsicle sticks that I have uh, put uh, on his shelf for independent and open-ended place so he actually made train tracks out of this he made roads and then he used his toy vehicles to you know go through the roads. so it was fun for him this is a small cute lock that um, he can use for his practical life skills a fine motor activity as well He's so much interested in locks these days, so I just put this uh, activity on his shelf. This was particularly Easter themed activity, um, life cycle of chickens. So I had these puzzle cards with me. So it's a puzzle and a matching activity also. So it goes like this. And then since I didn't have tubes or something for, for matching of these chicks, um, I just used Easter eggs and this wooden bowl to signify the nest and the egg and then another of such bowl and I just used tape to you know, signify the broken egg and these bullet blocks to signify a chick. I had also made a you know, face with the pen which just got rubbed and this as you can see it still shows the remains of the eyes and mouth so this is the chick and this is the chicken this is another uh, set of the matching activity of um, safari tubes with the cards and it's a combination of uh, across the world and the landmarks so this one has a couple of more the remaining ones so we talked about the countries where these monuments are and few facts about these monuments. It was fun, a uh, fun geography lesson. And this is a puzzle. Um, by now you must have, uh, you must be knowing that my son is loving puzzles. So it's a simple puzzle. This is again one Easter themed activity. It's uh, basically another version of sound boxes, Montessori sound boxes. So I, these are Easter eggs which you can open actually and I have put uh, things inside this different different grains which make different sounds and I have taped them. So the activity is to find the matching sound in this basket. So yeah, so these sounds are matching. This is not matching. Yes, this is matching. So, so he needs to find the matching pairs. It's a simple two-piece puzzle of animals. This is just too simple for my son now, but he loves doing this over and over again. So I have kept this on his shelf. Uh, this is a clothespin activity, a very simple one. This is a uh, cardboard scrap cardboard and these are clothespins that we all have at our homes and uh, these days he's loving you know um, opening and closing these clips so uh, he would actually the activity is to put the clothespins into this cardboard and he he was too engrossed in this activity for long I mean he would take out the pins and then uh, arrange them again in, in some pattern or some different pattern so this was a fun activity for him this is the Easter sensory bin that he loved the most on this on his shelf. I have put um, rice and some rajma and uh, some petals because this is spring. This was spring season and a couple of blocks and some eggs and spoons and everything that I could f find uh, here and there. So. He was so, so busy just pouring the rice into these containers, these blocks, this sieve and um, so I had these three spoons of different sizes so he don't, he actually, he already knows the sizes but he just told me, mama see this is the big spoon, this is the small spoon, this is the medium sized spoon 
and then uh, whenever he spilled the rice onto the floor he would actually clean it himself i have put a mini broom near his shelf so that he knows that he he can use that whenever he wants to clean up this is just a scrap, scrap board that i had i just inserted um wooden uh, sticks here he can do anything with the x so he would actually keep the x over here so it was an open-ended thing so he realized that some some blocks would fall and you know balancing and fun activity this is another very very interesting um, block play i would say these are um, you know blocks like these and you can form different different shapes different uh, pyramids towers using these blocks and he's loving it so it has a booklet also which shows what all can be done using these blocks so just 15 pieces and you can make so so many things with this this is another open-ended fun play he loves blocks so i have so many kinds of blocks uh, for him to play playing with blocks has so many benefits um, language math cognitive and so so much so you just google it on the web and you can see how blocks play, playing with the blocks can benefit a toddler so another set of interlocking blocks so this requires another, another level of the skill not just stacking just in you have to interlock these blocks this is our Hamal shelf hope you like the activities if you like them please do leave me a comment below i would love to read your comments if you are new here please please do subscribe to this channel i would love to see you in my next video and see you next time until then bye bye and happy parenting